and I'm back again. Uh, a little off schedule uh, this week because if you subscribe to me, you probably saw my 45 minute long rant on uh, the gun issue uh, that I uploaded earl earlier this week. So that took a lot of time to complete. I didn't have as much time to make my regular vlogs as I did. Now that I got that gun debate video out of the way, I can get back to uh, these vlogs. And for this vlog, I want to talk about friends. I had this discussion with my therapist about friends and why people have friends. And uh, like one example, or, or one story he talked about was when uh, his air conditioner broke and he called a, a couple different companies up to, to uh, see how much it would be to replace them. And they all told them it would be a couple thousand dollars to uh, put in a brand new uh, air conditioner unit. Uh, but then my therapist was talking to his friend about uh, his broken AC and the, the friend mentioned that he knew someone who worked as a AC repair uh, repair person uh, whatever they're called so his, his friend talked to his friend and then uh, my therapist got a good deal on a new unit. So that, like that's one example. Uh, you talk about like saving money. Friends are good for saving money, I guess. Kind of funny, but it does make sense. Like you know a guy who knows a guy who knows how to get a good deal on something you need. That, that was a big example to use. Uh, but he also talked about the people you're friends with and if you even want to be friends with a person who could help you out. Like he, he talked about one guy, uh, he uh, knows that he avoids it, he, he just doesn't want to be around him for uh, uh, whatever reason just doesn't want to talk to him and it doesn't matter if he could have saved my therapist even more money on an AC unit he just uh, my therapist wouldn't uh, find it worth it to save more money on an AC unit if it meant being friends with that person. <laughs> so yeah, and all my life I've never really had a big circle of friends. Just uh, throughout school it's really been the same couple of friends I've had. Uh, or throughout school it's just been the same people I've had as close friends and there's been some other people along the way they're just more like acquaintances or kind of friends not like uh, I didn't really hang out with them after school or see them really at all after school with those people. With, with my close friends, 
I did hang out some after school. I guess more so in like elementary school than in high school. Yeah, but I think just because I hadn't had a lot of friends and haven't uh, like reached out to them when I need something that I've just learned to um, do stuff on my own and find out how to do things by myself with no one else. Like if my AC unit broke, I would just search online uh, and call a whole bunch of uh, r repair services and just go with the lowest price, I guess. Or I might just tell my parents about it and then they could probably find uh, someone to do it for the best price. Because if, if it's not me that's doing something, it's usually my parents there. As, they, as I mentioned before, they do a lot for me. Or uh, another option would just be learn to, to uh, do without uh, something that I would need or want. Because I do hold on to things for a long time, like, uh, like computers. Uh, I've had my laptop for a few years now, and the one before that, even longer. Uh, I just hang on to them and, and don't replace them until I need to. Oh, I, I won't have to go out and do something. And I actually just recently uh, got a new phone. The phone before that, I think I had probably five years. It, I got it in college, I know. And uh, I take good care of the things so they're last and so then I won't have to go out and buy more stuff and I can s save money on my own without uh, the, the help of friends. But with something like an AC unit that I couldn't go long without because uh, already in Idaho we're hitting 100 degrees and it's not even July yet. Uh, yeah, so I would definitely need an AC unit in summer. Uh, so yeah, that's something that I would need and have to go out and find whether on my own or with, with the help of someone. Uh, and uh, another example would be jobs, uh, like asking friends if they know any that's hiring if you need a job and for my job shirts I basically just go online and search on the internet or just apply my applications to companies whether I know they're hiring or not like with my new job at uh, the, the grocery store I, I just happened to see a sign uh, in front of one of their stores saying they were uh, hiring, so I applied there. And then with my previous job at the gas station, I just applied through their website. I, I didn't know if they were hiring or not. Uh, I just applied to it because it was really close to my house. And turned out they, they were hiring. And, and they hired me. But I guess the job before that, my pizza 
restaurant job. The family uh, who, who owns the, the restaurant, uh, uh, the son uh, went to school with me, like junior high and high school. We went to school together and so that's how I got that job. So, but he wasn't one of my close friends. He, he was just one of the people uh, knew in school, but didn't hang out outside of school. Uh, so we were more like acquaintances, but still got me the job. So yeah, there's one thing that knowing someone has gotten me. So yeah, friends are only good for stuff that you need. <laughs> no, just kidding. But uh, they can be. Uh, uh, yeah, this, this vlog is just mainly about uh, that aspect of friendship. And <laughs> I know there's like an emotional uh, connection people feel with friends, uh, but I haven't gotten to that level yet. So maybe in the future when that happens I'll make a video about it. Uh, but, but until that video, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. So, uh, goodbye.